Hey everybody, this is Potter Brony, and I know that I said in my previous ones that I was not going to be doing any more unboxings, that I canceled the subscription to Loot Crate and, uh, and Geekbox, but I uh, got an email from Loot Crate saying that they had Quest, which I saw had Harry Potter stuff in it, so I figured I had to freaking do it this one last time. Uh, so I got the regular, just a one month Loot Crate, a, just one more month of Loot Crate, so that's this one. Plus, I also decided to get a Loot Crate DX, which, if you'll notice, is like three times bigger. So, I'm wondering what is in this stuff. I'm going to open up the regular Loot Crate first and see what we got here. But, I uh, figured I had a little extra cash from, uh, from my tax return, so treat myself to some Harry Potter stuff. Hopefully, there's some good stuff in here. Alright, so, just open up the first one, the small one here. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, first, here we go. Take a look at that. Now. This is a way too small t-shirt of the Labyrinth. I'm assuming it looks like the Labyrinth. Uh, Billy Joel stuff, uh, yeah. That figures. Okay. Got a Zelda wristband. Got Harry Potter Horcrux socks. I'm looking at this. It says ring, locket, cup, diary, snake, tiara, Harry. So, an image for every single Horcrux that was made. Every single one of Voldemort's Horcruxes. Sorry, he who must not be named Horcruxes. What's this here? Looks like a Viking horn. Or a hollowed out for for drink, I assume. Along with a sling. That was in there, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why not? We got the Loot Crate pin for the Quest Month. It's got a shield with a uh, multi-sided die on it. It's like a um, very multi-sided die. If you can tell that from the, from the picture there. And a 20-sided die ice mold, according to the box here. Wow, that's that's actually pretty damn cool. I've seen ice molds before. You pour some water in the top, you put it in the freezer, and you have a big. Then you peel it off, and you have a big ice, which big ice cube, which actually has numbers written on it. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that, but yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to put in the drink. Got the Quest magazine and. A cardboard tube which has a poster inside an uncharted for the thieves and poster little miniature poster okay so those are them I'm gonna turn that inside out after I finish unboxing this one to see if this has an inside out piece as well all right so Opening this one up. Now, let's see what a DX crate has. Just open that up for you here. There you go. First look. And it is... Special packing in there. I'm going to just cut that. Wow, that's pretty cool. A World of Warcraft lead-free crystal low ball glasses. A pair of them. Let's take a look at these glasses first. Okay, this doesn't look like it's an inside-out type of thing, this particular box, but 
got uh, got one glass which has a metal emblem on the side of it for the lines and for the horde. Those are some heavy, heavy duty glasses. All right, so that's pretty damn cool. Though I gotta say the uh, the DX crate being 50 bucks, not something I would normally get. But this is some heavy stuff here. Got 20 sided chilling die. Place them in the freezer four hours before use. Add them to your favorite. So these are reusable chilling ice cubes. Just a metal 20 sided die. Two of them. That would go into, I would assume, the highball, the lowball glasses. All right. And something to take up space. So thanks for wasting the space in this big box. Got a. Uh, just a little booklet for their stuff here. Okay, got an Adventure Time got Adventure Time Glow in the Dark figure. If you can see that, it's got a uh, what is this Finn and Jake in a puff jacket. See what else we got here. Uh, got another pin. It's a pretty cool pin. Compass. Got something here. Looks like a glossy. I'll just take it out of the packaging and see what kind of glossy we got here. Not really a glossy, it's more flat than that, but it's uh looks like Legend of Zelda. It kind of looks like Link versus the Dragon here. Kind of looks like Link, but it's pretty hard to tell. But it's a uh, swordsman with a shield facing off against a fire breathing dragon. And Very thin Legend of Zelda hoodie. Very, very thin fabric. This ain't gonna do shit as a hoodie. But it's pretty cool. Got the uh, emblem there and on the back with uh, with a raised puffy texture to it. Alright, and that is everything in the DX. So, I just wasted $70 very smart Potter on one thing I mean, the uh, Legend of Zelda stuff is cool the glasses and those are pretty cool I like those but the only Harry Potter merch in here are the socks which I will never wear because these kind of socks are uncomfortable as fuck to me but they're pretty cool socks so pretty cool stuff this time let's just see what the uh inside out box has to offer here just give me one moment okay the outside of the box is a maze which I believe is a workable maze because there is a start point on it I'm just not gonna sit here and uh, and do the maze so those are the loot crates these are the last ones officially um, yeah because right now I had a little bit of money to spend on it so I went ahead and did that but yeah I don't think it's gonna happen again I really, really don't this time. It just this time I was tempted in with the uh, promise of Harry Potter merchandise and just got a pair of socks. Uh, feel like a gift from the Dursleys. What are you gonna do? So they're not gonna trick me like that again. Uh, some pretty cool stuff anyway. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, that'll be it for for me here. Take care. Bye.